Hi, this is Aurora with SuperchargedScience.com. Today, I have a chemistry experiment for you. We're going to combine two liquids. Both of them look like water, but they're not. And when you combine them together, they form a rubber bouncy ball. Both these chemicals you can get at a pharmacy. Are you ready? Let me show you how to do this experiment. This is a great experiment for kids in fourth and fifth grade because it teaches kids about chemicals, chemical reactions, molecules, polymers, solids, and liquids. To form a rubber bouncy ball, you need to add four teaspoons of sodium silicate to one teaspoon of ethyl alcohol. Stir with a popsicle stick until it changes from clear to white and becomes a solid looking crumbly mass. Pour it out into your hand and Firmly and slowly squish it together into the shape you want. You know your bouncy ball's ready when you throw it on the table and it bounces. If your bouncy ball shatters into pieces, simply gather them up and press them into your hand, squeezing very firmly to reshape your ball. You want to keep your ball stored in a Ziploc container when you're not using it. Did you enjoy that last experiment? I hope so. It was one of my favorites. Now, this next experiment is in chemistry, and it's great for kids in grades fourth through fifth, as it teaches about solids, liquids, as well as fluorescence. We're going to make slime that fluoresces under a UV black light. Let me show you how to do this project. You'll need to extract the felt from a yellow highlighter pen. Carefully remove the felt from the pen, and using a pair of scissors, slit the outer casing that's holding the felt in a circle. Spread the fibers out and run a steady stream of water over a container. The container will catch your glow juice. This is the juice that's going to make the slime fluoresce. Measure out one tablespoon of glow juice into a cup and add one teaspoon of borax and stir with a popsicle stick until it's combined. In another cup, measure out one tablespoon of water and one tablespoon of clear glue. Make sure you stir this well. Now you're going to empty one cup into another, stirring the entire time, and when you're ready, pull the popsicle stick up and out and grab your slime with the other hand. Play with your slime in your hands until it's dry. You know your slime is ready when you throw it on the table and it bounces. You can use a UV black light to make your slime glow in the dark. Think of a glue like a plate of spaghetti. The long molecule chains are long and thin like spaghetti is. In order to form it into a slime, you need to cross-link it together, kind of like a fishnet. The borax is what cross-links the glue together and holds it into a gloppy form that we like to think of as slime. Your slime will absorb UV light and emit the yellow-greenish light you see here. That's called fluorescence. Now this next experiment is one of my personal favorites because you can do it outside in a park at a birthday party or anywhere really and kids have a screaming good time with it. And it's also great because it teaches fourth and fifth graders about air pressure and chemical reactions at the same time. Fill a container part way with water. Make sure it's a container that has a tight fitting snap on lid or a tight fitting cork. Add an Alka-Seltzer to the water and quickly snap on the lid. Flip it over and stand back. Your container should shoot straight up into the air. Now, if you're quick, you can get three or four shots out of the same Alka-Seltzer tablet. Simply refill your container and drop in the remaining Alka-Seltzer tablet. The best containers for this experiment are Fuji film canisters. If you can't find those, simply use an M&M tube, the kind with the tight-fitting snap-on lid. Inside an Alka-Seltzer tablet is baking soda and vinegar, but they're both in solid form, so they don't react until you get them wet. The baking soda and vinegar combine in the water to form carbon dioxide gas, which builds and builds and builds until the lid can't take it anymore and pops off. There's a special amount of water that is just perfect to make your rocket go the highest. Now, in addition to this project, I have several more exciting projects and activities and experiments waiting for you on my website at www.bestsciencelearning.com. Are you ready? Then come join me so you can experiment further.